The first time you start with 3D Studio Max 2009 you will find this screen. Here appears a welcome window with some video tutorials about the basic features in the program. Those tutorials are good, but I will going far with this series of tutorials, trying to explain you everything so simple and detailed as I can. Let us start with this tutorials talking about the user interface. The first time you see the user interface is possible that looks complicated, but it's pretty simple. Maybe you are not familiarized with the terms used in this tutorials, but don't worry. I will explain it later in next tutorials. This particular tutorial tries to give you an idea of the general capabilities and tools what 3D Studio Max have. In the next tutorials, I will show how to create objects, animations and so on. But for now, let's see how you can say it the program, what to do, and how. Remember, all this will be explained deeper later. First, you have a menu bar, what includes File. With the common functions of File menu, what you can find in any program. In File, you find the tools to handle your files, create new, open, save, import, merge and so on. I will talk in detail about this later, but first we take a general look to all the interface. Added. With the tools to select objects in the scene in different ways. Maybe, you note that doesn't appear the functions of cut, copy and paste. What are universal in all the programs, but these functions are possible in 3D Studio Max. Just what have a different way to work. Try the clone and mirror functions. Tools. With tools to navigate and set changes in the scene. Group. To create and handle groups of objects. It's very useful with complex scenes. Views. Works for change the way it looks the viewports. The viewports are this. Usually, when starts appears 4, which are. Perspective where appears your scene in 3D. Top. Where appears your scene, looked from the top. Left looked from left, and the front obviously looked from the front. Top, left, and front viewports are in 2D, two dimensions, at difference of the perspective. Those viewports works to see the scene and objects from different points, thing what it's very useful in the creation of objects, terrains and all kind of stuff. This are not the only possible viewports. Exist several possibilities, like front, back, left, right, bottom, top, perspective, orthographic, and some others with special features. Back to the main menu. Create. In this you find several tools to create and modify objects in 3D and 2D shapes, lights, cameras and a lot more. Modifiers. Works to add modifiers to your objects to create things like complex geometry in an easy way, clovis, hair and fur and more. Animation. Contains the tools to handle the animation of the characters, objects and all the scene. Here are the exolvers and others tools to complete the bones. Bones are an excellent way to animate characters even when those are not humanoids. When the characters are humanoids or quadrupeds you can use it, this but are similar to bones, but presents an easy way to do the animations. Graph Editor. Present a series of graphics interfaces what complements other animations tool for character, the scene and particle systems. Rendering. Is the group of tool focused in the render process. Render means, what you create an image from your objects in the scene. This process takes sometimes a lot of time depending on the complexity of your scene and the capabilities of your computer. You can use this tool here to set the parameters for your renderization process, doesn't matter if it's just an image or a video sequence. A video sequence takes usually more time, because it's a series of images. Customize. Works for customize the user interface of 3D Studio Max depending on your needs. This is because you can use the program to create different candid projects, and you will need different tools depending if you are working in an architectural simulation or in an animated movie. So this personalization is very useful to save time and work. MagScript is a tool that lets you control things in your scene using a language of programmation similar to others' programmation languages like C or C++. It's also a programmation language oriented to objects. Focused in people who doesn't are familiarized with programmation languages if they scare you because you don't like the programmation or you don't know how to do it, don't worry even without use MagScript you can create awesome images, objects, scenes, videos, characters, terrains. Well, help. In this you find the topics related to the help in 3D Studio Max. You can find more tools and some of the same features what you find the menu and the toolbars. This toolbars make easy the access to these functions, making the work more faster and simple. You find by default the main toolbar in the command panel. About the command panel I will going to talk later. 
If you, for any reason make disappear the main toolbar you can make it appear again, pressing the keyboard DLT plus 6, until it appear. If doesn't appear try reordering the toolbars, you can do this simply making left click holding it and dragging. Let's talk about the main toolbar, in this, you can find the buttons of undo and redo, links buttons, selection buttons, move, rotate, and scale, snaps buttons, mirror, align, materials and quick render. This is a pretty complete toolbar, very useful for any type of projects. But exist, other toolbars, let's take a look at those. To make this toolbars appears, you simply make right click in empty space of other toolbar, then will appears a list of the possible toolbars. This show if the toolbar is already in use. If have a sign in the left part, or doesn't in use. If don't have a sign in the left part. If you click in the name of the toolbar, this will change of state. Let's try one. Info center. This toolbar works to obtain help and info about the program. Let's try other. Just repeat the process. Right click on an empty space of other toolbar and select the desired one. Access constraint. Help to constrain the axis for a function. For example, if you want to move an object and you want to move it only along the x-axis, you select the object click the move button, make click in the x of the toolbar of constraints and move the object and this only moves along the x-axis. Layers. Like in others programs, you can works with layers. This simplify your work. Layers indicates what you can separate your scene in pieces, like a layer for terrain, another for characters, another for the threes, and so on. So many as you need, and you can turn this layers on and off. When a layer is off the objects what belongs to this will disappear, but reappears just turning again the layer on. Reactor. This is an important one. This constrains the buttons necessary for create physical simulations on a short time. You have functions like rigid objects, soft objects, springs, motor, wind, water, constraints, clothes and others. Extras. This have functions to create arrays of objects and more. Render shortcuts. With functions focused on the rendered function. Snaps. The snaps toolbar is one of the most useful when you are working modeling objects like buildings, mechanical parts or others without organic forms. This buttons make able to create objects in the right position respect to others. Animation layers. With functions for animations. And finally. Brushes presets. New features in this last versions of 3D Studio Max, let's use a series of tools what use brushes like in a painting program, like Paint, or Photoshop. This tools can change the appearance of the object or the form of it. Now, here we find the command panel. This tutorial will continue. Find the second part of this tutorial in www.macrotutorials.com.